Hi guys, my name is Tarindu. I'm the CEO of TAC, uh, the social media agency, and also I'm a corporate coach uh, specializing in positive communication and uh, motivational speaking. And I'm also a SEMA lecturer. Um, so it's my pleasure to speak to you today on a few topics which I feel may be of importance to all of you who are looking at and deciding your future career. So to begin with, uh, whether a university degree is required, in my view, absolutely. I believe a university degree is required because it prepares you. I know there's a lot of schools of thought going around saying that degrees don't matter, degrees are not needed, etc., etc. But I certainly believe that when you do a degree, you become more complete. You get the skill set of having done assignments, having worked in a group and so many other uh, different skill sets you get which really help you and push you forward and makes you a better uh, individual and makes you more prepared for the workplace that's my personal opinion to be honest and so I think yes do a degree a degree that matches the field you're planning to go in because that's going to truly uh, give you that confidence that you've studied it for three years you've got the required knowledge and even the industry today recognizes you unless you are like a super brilliant person if you have a degree, you get recognized. You get recognized as someone who can achieve things, who can endure a uh, lot of work at a given time. It's a degree doesn't just give you knowledge. It gives you so many other things like the ability to handle the workload, the ability to be in a team. So in my view, absolutely, yes, do a degree. So um, soft skills and its importance, I believe it's... 90% of the game. 10% is your technical skills, 90% is your soft skills. Just to give an idea, when I completed my schooling, I had two friends, both went to the same university. One guy got a gold medal and the other guy just narrowly passed. Today, both of them work for the same company. Gold medalist gets a very good salary and the guy who narrowly passed gets a salary which is three times more because he's the marketer for that company. The guy who goes and represents the company, uh, speaks about the company to clients and uh, basically gets in more business into their organization so yes it is an absolute must uh, that you develop your soft skills especially how to present how to speak um, how to speak to a client how to do a presentation basic stuff i mean the list is never ending but work on your soft skills pick one skill which you think is lacking maybe presentation skills work on it for a week then pick another skill maybe face-to-face -face communication you may have a tendency to look down when you're speaking to someone because of the lack of confidence work on that so take i believe you already know what soft skills are lacking in you because when you go to do a presentation or when you go to talk with a person if you feel something uneasy something difficult that is an indication that that soft skill is actually a problem for you so start working on it one soft skill at a time and without you knowing it you will be completing 90 percent of uh, the skill that truly matters whether it's an interview whether it's working in a company whether it's uh, a meeting whatever it may be so how can a student get a competitive advantage in um, the current market i think that's a tough one um, i believe it once again boils down to your soft skills and at the same time it boils down to the effort which you put in during your studies for example if you are someone who were who was just narrowly doing things like doing things for the sake of doing things barely doing things like if it's a dig if it's an assignment all right you will just uh, do a shortcut download a degree assignment from somewhere edit it put your name etc and submit it you still pass you, you still might get recognized but the difference will be quite evident when it comes to the interview because more than the student who did the sh who took the shortcut the one who put the effort did their own research did their own study they are able to rise and shine better so in other words there's no shortcut to success there is no escalator to success there's always the stairs so when you're studying give it your best focus on it remember it's not an assignment for next week it's actually a task you're doing that will prepare you for a job interview in the future that where they might ask you a question for which the answers you might have discovered if you did this assignment right so i believe for a student the best way to get a competitive advantage is keep updating your knowledge keep learning the new things and most importantly make sure that you put in the right effort and you take the stairs and you give it your best because that will prepare you for the competitive advantage
All right. So yes, there are lots of online courses, but the, the common wisdom has always been that, okay, anything free is not good, anything online is not good. I think that's changing. There are lots of things I've personally learned through online courses which are free. You have Udemy and all this stuff. My advice to you is, if you see a course that is online that you think will give you the knowledge you require, go for it. Do it. Because you can learn from world-class uh, masters and teachers and lecturers who really know what they're talking about. So go online, learn from online. I mean, today that's the best way of learning. You're stuck in traffic, you go through three YouTube videos, you'll know so much more than what you actually knew before. So yes, absolutely make use of the online courses. Still the mindset in Sri Lanka might be not that positive towards it, but I personally believe there's potential. I personally learned a lot and benefited through those online courses. So yes, definitely learn from those online courses. Seek them out if you see something useful. And there's so many of the free courses, which actually gives you a whole load of knowledge which you need. So make maximum use of that material. For once, make a good use of the internet. So I think the decision about the career, what they want to be is a tough one because you never know what you want to be. When I finished my A-levels, having been a math student and I graduated from Royal, uh, there was nothing called social media marketing. There was nothing called a motivational speaker or even for that matter, I didn't know that a subject called SIMA, uh, qualification called SIMA existed. Uh, but later you discover your passion. My advice to you is keep looking. And if you see something you like, search research more about it if it appears to be more and more appealing to you venture into it but be ready for your career plans to change when i left school my plan was to be a computer programmer a simple computer programmer seated behind a computer programming all the possible time but then plans change so be ready you you, you i mean you when you're handling your career it's like a captain who is handling a ship you need to be ready you need to have a direction knowing okay i'm going in this direction but when the waves change and when the winds come in a different direction and when you while like a captain of a ship when you are scanning through and you see an island of opportunity out there be ready be wise be courageous enough to shift the direction of the ship and go in that right direction and make sure that you venture into that newly found passion so Start thinking about your career now, start having a plan, but be ready for that plan to change. Be like a smart captain of a ship that gets to a destination that was never discovered before, yet has lots of opportunities.